do you do? Phoenix, pleasure. I am rather hot, aren't I? <laughs> He's hot. You can tell. But we all know the legend. The Phoenix, the bird of fire. I think an actor, because that voice, the way he's delivering the line. Rising from the ashes, born anew. Someone who is reinventing themselves. Of course. I'm familiar with reincarnation. It's a mystery, but I know how to follow the trail. Reincarnations are coming back from the dead. However, a phoenix chick, they're quiet. They go unnoticed. Yeah, the Lord Game of Thrones vibe. Then they burst into flames and set the world on fire. Well, tonight I'm spreading my wings. Watch me light up the stage. Like the legend of the phoenix All ends in beginning wow. What keeps the planet spinning Yeah A force from the beginning To get some, she's up all night for good fun. I'm up all night to get lucky. Wow. We're up all night to the sun. We're up all night to get some. She's up all night for good fun. She's up all night to get lucky. Like the present has no rhythm. Wow. Beyond the gift. To get some, she's up all night for good fun. I'm up all night to get lucky. We're up all night to the sun. We're up all night to get some. We're up all night for good fun. We're up all night to get lucky. when you look at me, it's so scary. I know, it's, it is, it's quite It's really does the head tilt. Oh, hello, okay, this is quite nice. That was just a laugh. Phoenix. Stop looking at me like that. I can't tell whether he hates me or he fancies me. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Jonathan, I'll come to you first. I mean, that was an amazing performance. I love the way you're in character. The way he moves his head like a bird is so much fun to watch, isn't it? And you've got so much confidence and so much charisma. You are used to being the centre of attention. Yes. Here's who I think it is. And the clues all add up. There was a suit of armour where well, this person appeared on stage in Hamlet. I know how to follow a trail. This is someone who's played a detective as well on TV. The Phoenix is a Harry Potter movie. But I'm thinking this person has been in a Harry Potter movie, not necessarily that one, who reincarnates on TV on a regular basis. Actors. Doctor, Doctor Who. Who. Oh, Doctor Who. I think it is David Tennant, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's good. That's a good guess. I think it is. And I know, I know he's a fan of the show. I know he watches it with his kids. So I think that could... Look at the movement. That's David Tennant every wow. day. Who do you think it is, Rita? I am so confused. I just don't know why I went down this route. You said reincarnation a lot of the times. I feel like bands, when they separate, they, like, have their own careers. And then I went down the take of that route, and then you were orange, and then I just thought of Jason Orange. Mm -hmm. Ooh. 
Davina. I love Phoenix, also a little bit scary, like in yeah. a kind of, you know, quite an exciting way. <laughs> um, reincarnation, I was thinking about somebody who was a child actor and who had been reincarnated later in life. Somebody like Nicholas Holt. I love Nicholas. He was in About a Boy. OK. Mo. So I was watching a programme called Who Do You Think You Are? <laughs> and uh, their family survived the Great Fire of London. I think it could be Joe Sugg. Ooh, OK. Yeah. Joe Sugg, the YouTuber. Because of the hair, just four of it just now. Maybe Simply Red, Mick Hocknell. Mick oh. Hocknell. <laughs> yeah. You so actually made Phoenix laugh there. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> you want another clue? Yes. Well, Phoenix should have prepared a riddle, so let's hope for the best. Phoenix, over to you. I'm all flame and fire, my feathers ablaze. It may intrigue you to learn. I've been a catchphrase. Tenant could be a tenant of a house or... Mm, yeah. Oh, uh, that's true. Uh, so, you know what, like that, that clue didn't help us at all. <laughs> <laughs> Who's playing hide-and-seek beneath the beak? We'll only know when the mask comes off. Give it up for Phoenix, everybody. Yeah! So yeah! wonderful. Yeah! So wonderful. <laughs> Did the panel get lucky with their guesses? Who do you think's behind the mask? I'm delighted with my performance, hoping to keep the flame burning throughout the rest of the competition. For my first performance, I set the stage on fire. Jason Orange, Nicholas Holt, Nick Hocknell, David Tennant, ladies and gentlemen. But the panel weren't so lucky with my name. <laughs> OK, I'm ready for my close-up. Shall we begin? And action! Movies. Director. <laughs> Phoenixes are mythical. Independent, yes. Maybe there was an independent film. But me, I'm magical. If you keep your eyes open, then you'll see. Though I never set out to tread the boards. But there's a football there. Tread the boards. I must confess, I have found myself doing just so. Is there a footballer who's gone on to do theatre? How would I describe that feeling? Out of this world. Two sticks of rock. I thought he was a rock star, but now I'm thinking he's an actor. Some say life imitates art, but vice versa, I say vice versa. Tonight, I'm aiming to fly into the next round. Watch me soar. These outfits are epic. Love is getting on you. 
Phoenix, everybody! Look at that. We're asking all of the important questions on The Masked Singer, like, does a son also need to wear sunglasses? <laughs> I love that so much. Davina! That was amazing. It and was! Yeah, there he is. He's like, yeah, <laughs> I, I smashed it. That's what I was say. So, let's think about the clues. I heard you say, I tread the boards. Now, this being The Masked Singer, that meaning the theatre would be way too obvious. So I was thinking, what other boards are there? And I thought of a diving board. Ooh. You know, I'm always thinking of reincarnation with Phoenix and somebody that was a diver and then went into the movies, because obviously we saw the director's <laughs> chair. I know what you're going to say. Who, who? <laughs> it's Jason Statham, people. <laughs> no, Jason Statham was a diver. He died for the British Commonwealth <laughs> Games. And there were two pieces of rock crossing each other. Who starred in a film with The Rock? Jason Statham. Yeah, Thank you. you. That's true. No, oh, come God. on. That was quite good. <laughs> hey, guys, I've got another joke. Yep. Relight my fire. That's just That's a song. Not a joke. That's, That's a, a song. song. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, no, it's a, it was a lovely song. <laughs> OK, let me take it from here. OK, you go, okay, you go. Phoenix, I love, love, love you. You're just so, like, elegant. And then your voice, and you have such a musical theatre tone. So I went down the route of powers, and then you said fire, and then I started thinking Game of Thrones. And somebody in the Game of Thrones who also has music in the family was Alfie Allen. Wow. He's definitely an actor. Mo, what are you thinking? I've looked at the clues. I've seen magical, someone who does magic. I thought maybe it could be Stephen Mulhern, because I don't know if you noticed. Of course. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Stephen! Come back, Stephen! <laughs> Jonathan? I think you're all wrong, but I think the last time he was out, I was getting David Tennant for him, and I was getting a strong actor vibe. You sing better than him, I think. I think you're a very good singer. <laughs> but here's what I think it is. He is a singer. I think The Rock is the title of this person's song, one of his big hits. The Football Clue. I know this person loves football, and he had his own football pitch in his house. I think it might be Robbie Williams. No. Uh, I sang Relight My Fire. Yeah. You We'd did sing Relight like My Fire, but you didn't say Robbie Williams. Oh, We've recognised Robbie's voice. <laughs> it's OK. It's clue or false time. Phoenix, can we hear your first clue, please? It would have been sweet to converse with a person past. It would have been sweet to converse with a person past. Sweet. And your second clue, please? Time travel, I've completed it, my good man. Time travel, I've completed it, my good man. Audience, do you think clue number one is true? Do a few claps. Oh, Who few. thinks clue number two is true? Two! Two! The time travel one. Oh, Interesting. Two. I think it's one of the Doctor Who's. I don't know what one, all of them. Well, maybe that's, maybe that's it. Maybe the costume is bigger inside than Good we think man, it is, yeah. and it's all of the Doctor Who's. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be David Tennant. Yeah. You'll only see the fame beneath the flame when the mask comes off. Give it up for Phoenix, everybody. Oh, love you, Phoenix. Phoenix is hot. Have the panel gone loco with these guesses? Who do you think's behind the mask? The panel are burning through names tonight, but they aren't hot on my trail. Or are they? Last time, I turned up the heat in Acapulco. Alfie Allen. Stephen Mulhern. Robbie Williams. It's Jason Statham, people. The only thing loco was the panel's guesses. And that's exactly what I want. They haven't got a Barbie clue who I am. <laughs> Is that a mirror ball? Uh, thank you. That's better. Let's get to the point, shall we? OK. Strictly speaking, clues, you want them, I got them. Strictly. That is big clues, isn't it? So let's factor them in, Bruno. X factor. Paintbrush. What about Portrait Artist of the Year? You could call me an apprentice. Apprentice is another reality show. But then would an apprentice appear on the most watched TV show in almost 30 years? Coronation Street, like a 
a soap? Surely you can't think that, unless you're a dodo. <laughs> That's a ball bearing. Would you use that in mechanics? I'm parched. Could I get another one of those mirror ball juices? But on ice. Tonight, I'll rise to the occasion and give my hottest performance yet. set the stage alight. Yeah. That was amazing, yeah. as yeah. always. Great singing. And then so many clues that we all picked up on. There seemed to be a lot of reality shows being mentioned. And you said you were in the most watched show. Then there was one thing where you used the tip of your feathers to flick away a ball bearing. And if I take the ball bearing as something from engineering, this is someone I know was on Strictly as well, and he played an engineer in EastEnders. I think it might be Sid Owen, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, OK. You weren't playing around. Not playing around. That's who it might be. Rita, I'll come to you next. Going back to the VT, I see the castle, I see that you're a phoenix, I see the fire. You said apprentice, but maybe it's something similar like the Dragon's Den. Who's big on Dragon's Den? Peter Jones. <laughs> Peter Jones is very tall. It's not very often that the audience openly laugh at a suggestion. <laughs> Are you all right, John? I feel like a pirate with a parrot on my shoulder. <laughs> I saw the paintbrush and I thought portrait artist of the year Then I thought about the most watched TV show in 30 years and I've gone back to a name I said last time we saw you David Tennant. He was on Doctor Who and he was in portrait artist of the year Oh, good woo. No, I'm absolutely perplexed <laughs> I went to a different route, right? One of the most watched shows. Everyone's going UK. I thought I'd go US because oh. this person's a showman so I thought of Glee. Oh, yeah. Someone who's got an amazing voice, he's from the States, is Darren Chris. But I'm clutching <laughs> straws here, right? I don't think he knows who Darren Chris is. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard who's under the bird? Me neither. We'll only know when the mask has come off. Give it up for Phoenix, everybody. <laughs> Are the panel flying towards Phoenix's identity? Who do you think's behind the mask? What an opening to the show, man! Aren't I the most entertaining bird you've ever met? I'm still standing, baby, than I ever did. Last time. 
time, the panel thought I was a real showman. I was still standing after the audience vote. Darren Chris. David Tennant. Peter Jones. He said Owen, ladies and gentlemen. But they're not getting any warmer on who I am. I'm a bird of fire. Therefore, swimming isn't an activity I recommend. In fact, I fear deep water. Wow, that's a proper theatrical, isn't it? But diving, that's another thing. Swimmer, diving, that's again, that's water. Tour bus, post trip. Though one must practice caution. Myself, I've lost shoes, watches, even been snared by teeth. You have to be careful. Speaking of, mind your head, old boy. Mind your head, do Henry VIII. As I was saying, the place of work can be a treacherous place, but I live for the thrill and wouldn't have it any other way. Guns and Roses. Kiss from a rose. Tonight, I flame to please. So watch out, because I'm flying to new Fahrenheit. Myself. And you really held that note. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, power. Sensational vibrato. Vibrato on chips, as I like to say. <laughs> You're so flamboyant. You're such a showman. And I don't know if they can sing like this, but it could be Anton Dubeck. Oh, OK. Jonathan, what did you think? I think maybe literally we take the Phoenix as a clue, very popular TV show, Phoenix Nights. There were coach tours all the time turning up to the nightclub. I think you might be Paddy McGuinness is in there. That's who I think it is. So, Paddy McGuinness. Davina. OK, there was talk about Deep Water, and he was in a crime series called Dead Water Fell. I feel like all my clues are still pointing to David Tennant. I think it could be David. Wow. Stephen Mulher. And I've noticed that the Phoenix hasn't actually come out of character. No. So, theatrical. Great West End star, Michael Ball. Oh, <gasps> I like that, Stephen Mulhern. Rita. I don't know about that, but I think this might be your best performance yet. I did hear the deep diving thing, which led me to think maybe it could be Tom Daly. Yes. Um, but I don't have a clue who you are. Okay, well, time for one last clue. Mo, give it everything oh, you got. Oh, here we go. Can we get a? Okay. 
Okay, it's a number clue. Phoenix, over to you. 2006. When did David Tennant become the Doctor? Ooh. Maybe yep. 2006 is a number of failed romances Paddy McGuinness started off on Take Me Out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, you'll only see whom is under the plume when the mask comes off. Let's hear it for Phoenix, everybody. Well done, Phoenix. Are the panel keeping up with the Joneses? Or are these guesses a little bit unusual? Who do you think's behind the mask? I think my clues tonight might have ruffled some feathers. Job well done, Phoenix, old boy. The panel swoon. You'll find it happens all the time. They gave me lots of names, but none of them are mine. Anton Dubeck. David Tennant. Ali McGuinness is in there. Which is jolly good. <laughs> it's the semi-final. So let's raise a toast. Blue goblets. It's like a pop. Cheers. I'm thinking Game of Thrones. I'm thinking Dragon's Den. The banners. They have banners in Game of Thrones. Of course. I saw this coming in 2012. 2012, the, the Olympics. Ah, yes. I, I told you then. A phoenix rises from the ashes. What's the office chair? But it's just the stand. That's because my phoenix eye, it's sharp, it sees things. What's coming? What's been? What's behind it? It's behind the eyes. That's past, present, and future. And tonight, it's all eyes on me. Will I make the final? How does this end? Well, that would be telling. <laughs> You're just too good to be true. Tunage. Can't take my eyes off of you. You'd be like heaven to turn. I want to hold you so much. At long last, love has arrived. Baby, come on. Oh. And I thank God I'm alive. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. Can't take my eyes off of you. Oh! You feel like heaven to touch. I want to hold you so much. Who is this? This is so... Oh. Go for it, Davina McCall. Phoenix, you are no stranger to the stage. Just makes me think of somebody that's been in theatre or musicals. I was thinking the blue drink, there is a drink called a Blue Cosmo. It was inspired by the TARDIS. I think David Tennant can sing like that. Well, I think that's good. Okay, Mo. 
the clues, your fiery bird. And when I think of a fiery thing, I think of a dragon, I think of the Welsh flag. Cardiff City, they've got a football team, right? They call themselves the Bluebirds, right? That's right. I think you could be the Welsh actor Luke Evans. <gasps> yes. Peter Crouch. Yeah, I think the theatric, someone who's been like an actor or in mm. theatre. But then I saw the office chair, Why? and I think someone who's been in the office, Mackenzie Crook. Oh! That's a good one. Jonathan! I think you are definitely a singer, because you're a great performer. I love hearing you sing. I think you've been in a big British band. I think Johnny Burrell from Razorlight. OK. What do you think, Rita? Maybe you are somebody that has been in a band that's had a song called Relight My Fire. I'm going to go with Gary Barlow. OK. Oh! Yes. That's a good guess. Do you want another clue? Yes, yeah. please. Here comes your clue nundrum. Rotarna. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Narrator. Narrator it is. What about, like, if it is somebody like a Luke Evans or a David Tennant, they would have narrated loads of stuff. Has the answer flown right over the panel's heads? We'll only know when the mask comes off. Give it up for Phoenix, everybody. <laughs> Are the panel on a hot streak with these guesses? Or will they be left red-faced? Who do you think's behind the mask? The panel can't take their eyes off of this phoenix, but they need to put their brains together to figure out who this fiery chap is. So confident they're saying no win and no phoenix. <laughs> it's phoenix! Yeah. Yay! I want to talk to you. The last time we talked, Mr. Smith, we reduced me to tears. I promise you it won't happen again. Do I attract you? Do I repulse you with my queasy smile? Am I too dirty? Am I too flirty? Do you like what you like? I could be wholesome, I could be loathsome, just a little bit shy. Why don't you like me? Why don't you like me without making me try? Gotta be like Grace Kelly. Change his voice. What is going but on? I have no idea. Too sad. So I tried a little pretty. I've gone out and to the Satisfy yourself ah. Cause you only want What everybody else says What you want You want I could be brown, I could be blue I could be violet sky I could be hopeful, I could be purple I could be anything you like Gotta be mean, gotta be green David Tennant could pull off that voice. David Tennant's good. You know, frequency, if you talk about him being Doctor. Yeah. Radio? Be on the radio? Yeah, yeah for sure. Maybe it's a radio Now DJ. that makes me think Ronan Keating. Mm. He's on the radio. He can sing. You guys are fully, fully confused. Who's our Lord of the Wings? <laughs> we'll only know when the mask comes off. Give it up for Phoenix, everybody. This fire out just yet. I've got so much more to give. 
Phoenix in the final. That sounds good, doesn't it? Semi-final. What can I say? I was just too good to be true. Luke Evans. Johnny Boyle from Wazer Life. Gary Barlow. I think David Tennant can sing like that. When it comes to who I am, the panel are getting themselves in a flap. <laughs> OMG. I can't believe it. The final. Twice before, I've been here and consecutively succeeded. Consecutively. Twice. Yes, I've been number one before, but that was a collective effort. I'm telling you, he's in a band. In a band, definitely a band member. The Masked Singer stage. It does all the buzz of a sellout stadium. Stadium, stadium is played stadium. Wow. Oh, I know this. Peanuts. Why is he eating peanuts? My aim tonight, to make sure everyone has a good time. No one wants a bunch of angry people at the door. <laughs> he must have created a problem. Tonight, I'm hoping for a blaze of glory. Oh! When the rainbow rhythm starts to play, yeah! dance with me, make me sway. Like the lazy ocean hugs the floor Hold me close, sway me more Other dancers may be on the floor Dear, but my eyes, they see only you Only you have that magic technique When we dance, I go weak Sensational Like marimba rhythm starts to play Dance with me, make me sway Dance with me, sway me more. Yeah! Like a flower bending in the breeze. Dance with me, sway with me. Like a heaven sound of violin. Stay with me, sway with me. When the must start to play. First, who fancies oh, it? Oh, that was so good, Joel. The dances, the choreography. You're a real showman, you know this. Yeah. But I think maybe this is someone who's a bit more of a producer. I think it might be Mark Ronson. That's right. Oh, Ooh. what? That has come out yeah. of nowhere. I know. Davina McCall. I have said the same name for week after week. <laughs> I think that Phoenix is David Tennant. All the clues are pointing me in this direction. Okay. Lee Mack. When I watched the VT, I thought I had it. Collective effort, three lines on a shirt with the lightning seeds, stadiums, and he can sing. Frank Skinner. Oh! oh that's a good guess. Now listen to the voice, that's ruined it for me. There's no way that's Frank. So I think I'm going to go for my initial reaction, which is David Tennant. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well stolen, Lee Mack. <laughs> I like that. Rita Ora, how are you feeling? I've been saying Gary Barlow, and then I was like, OK, maybe it could be Mark Owen. Yeah, I think you could be right. Jonathan Ross. I think, from the band Ways of Light, I think oh. it's Johnny Boel. OK. Can I see another clue? Yes, please. Yes. OK, time for the final round of The Chase. Here's your next clue. Which of these is a person that hand sources a popular seaside snack? A, a winkle picker. <laughs> B, a wonky poker. <laughs> C, a winky pincher. It's a winkle picker. Well, Which one's correct? It's got to be winkle picker. It's got to be winkle, winkle picker, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, yeah, we'll go okay. with that. Okay, let's see whether you're correct. Okay, a winkle picker. Yeah, got to be in it. Yeah, yeah, well played. Yes. There you are. Thank Chase you. Put. Goes Winkle Picker. And it's a fancy shoe.
Any idea what that can mean? Well, a winkle picker is a shoe with a very sharp point. Yeah. What else is sharp? A razor blade. Johnny Burrell from Razorline. Oh, that could be something. Well, we'll only see who the man inside the wingspan <laughs> when the mask comes <laughs> off. Give it up for Phoenix. Yeah. Are the panel's guesses swaying in the right direction? Who do you think's behind the mask? It's the final, so I went hell for feather in that performance. Watch and learn, everybody. Phoenix, you'll be performing with someone pretty fantastic. Welcome back to the stage, Fox! Ah, <laughs> That costume is so good. So good. Oh! Hang on. Don't go breaking my heart. I couldn't if I tried. Yeah! Oh, honey, if I get restless. Baby, you're not the kind. Woo! Go on, folks. Don't go breaking my heart. Beautiful fox, so good. I hope it is Denise Van Alten in there. There's only one way to find out, everybody. Take it off, take it off, take it off, take it off. Yeah! Yay! Now you've taken the, the head off, you just look like you're dressed like Rita Ora. Hey! Do you enjoy getting back into character again? Do you know what is so nice? I mean, I love this show. It's just great to be back as the fox and to perform with Phoenix, who is amazing. Mm. Yes! I feel like the panel really needs your help. Who do you think it Who could be? It? I can detect a slight northern accent. I don't know oh. if you can pick that up, but when singing, no. the reddish colour of the costume, yes. I'm thinking this could be Lee Francis. Oh. Oh. AKA Keith Lemon. <laughs> Keith Lemon. Can Lee sing that yes. well? Oh, can he? Can he? I heard Lee do karaoke and he's really good. Oh, really? Trust me on this one. Fox, thank you so much. You've been fantastic. Give it up for Phoenix and Fox, everybody, a.k.a. Denise Van Alten. My cunning plan to confuse the panel with the help of my friend Fox has worked. The panel are still scratching for names and I'm swooping towards the mass in a crown. <laughs> Welcome to detention. Whatever I did, I didn't do it, sir. You know full well why you're here, Phoenix. Withholding clues is against school policy. And you keep setting off the fire alarms. I refute that accusation, Headmaster. It's not my fault the panel haven't learned to read my clues. Care to explain yourself, Phoenix? With pleasure. It's not my fault the penny didn't drop about my name being a catchphrase. I'm all flame and fire, my feathers ablaze. It may intrigue you to learn I've been a catchphrase. That clue didn't help us at all. <laughs> so it should be them in detention, really. I'm simply not to blame that Mo spotted a clue, but then just let his attention wander. There's a football there. 
I can't be held accountable if they didn't recognize a memento from the school trip. Two sticks of rock. I thought he was a rock star, but now I'm thinking he's an actor. I gave them a good charade. Mind your head, old boy. Mind your head. They were Henry VIII. But you can't accuse me if they didn't work it out. The only thing I'm guilty of is laughing at how far away they are with their guessing. Ha 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 ha! See? Quiet in class! Any more out of you, Phoenix, and I'll set off the fire extinguisher. Blaming hell, sir. Like the legend of the Phoenix. All ends in beginning. What keeps the planet spinning? Yeah, a force from the beginning. We've come too far to give up who we are. the bar, lift our cups to the stars, she's up all night to the sun, I'm up all night to get this some, is such a good book. she's yeah. up all night for good fun, she's up all night to get lucky, like the present has no Phoenix for the final time. So oh, good. Wow. Would you enjoy seeing that song so again? Amazing. So Absolutely brilliant. I quite enjoyed those clues the second time round because I saw The Rock and I thought maybe it is somebody in a rock band. Okay. Because I really enjoy when you sing swing, but maybe it's a massive disguise. Maybe you're a massive rock star. Well, will we be saying, and the winger is. Give it up for Phoenix, everybody. Yeah. The final two. I pecked off the competition one by one. This bird will have the last word. <laughs> Back for Phoenix, everybody. Aww. Phoenix, you did so good. You came so close, and now it is time to finally find out who wow. you really are. First of all, Mo, who do you think it is? Oh, man, congratulations on getting to the final. It's been absolutely incredible. The last name I said was Mark Ronson, so I'm going to stick with it. I think it's Mark Ronson. OK. Davina McCall. I'm going to stick with David Tennant. OK. Good guesses. Leave it. All I've got is Winkle Pickers. I'm going for <laughs> Henry Winkle, the Fonz. <laughs> Rita. You've confused absolutely everybody. Yes. I'm going to go with Mark Owen. Mark Owen. Jonathan. I don't know if any of us got it right, but I'm going to stick with Johnny Boel from Razor Lion. OK. Well, let's see if any of you are right. Phoenix, who's behind the mask? Take it off. It's Ricky Wilson, of course it is. Rita, how long did you work with Ricky? No. There's no way. Hi. Oh, my God. <laughs> how long did you work with Ricky? We did a whole show together. 
this is not fair. I'm never going to forgive you ever again. Sorry. I don't think it's Ricky's fault. I think it's your fault. <laughs> What do you think of some of their guesses? Uh, David Tennant, I'm very pleased with that. Yes. Be. I was a bit sad that you weren't David Tennant, but I'm very <laughs> pleased that you're Ricky. Yeah, I, I'm a bit sad I'm not David Tennant either. <laughs> <laughs> I think you sound like Michael Bublé. I think there's, like, a career in swing. Yeah. yeah. The swing album will be available by Christmas. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of why I think it threw people off. It because you were going did, yeah. an entirely different way with your music. Was that, like, intentional? Uh, yes. It was really difficult. You were so if you good. sang how you, you really sing, good. I would have got you in a second. Badly. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you completely embodied a different character. Yeah. The confidence. <laughs> that was the best bit of it. I can't stop doing that. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> in the character. Those wings must have been very hard to go to the toilet with. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's a bird, he can just poo on people's cars. Yeah. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Yes, of course you can, Rita. You said, I get people angry. What's that about? Oh, uh, we had a song called Angry Mob. Angry Mob. Mob. Oh, oh, of course. Also, there was like an office chair, but without the chair on it. But it was for the voice. The, the spinning, spinning chair right. for Oh, the my voice. God. <laughs> Come on. How did we not get that? Have you enjoyed it, though? Of Have you course. enjoyed the whole thing? It gets quite infectious. Yeah. You really want to win it. Yeah. 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 Rhino! <laughs> Damn you, oh. Rhino! Give it up for Ricky Wilson, yeah. everybody. Thank you. Performing for us one final time, unmasked at last. It is your runner up. It's Ricky Wilson, everyone. Yeah. You're amazing. <laughs> when the rhythm, rhythm starts to play, dance with me, make me sway. Like the lazy ocean's hug the shore, hold me close, sway me more. When the rhythm, rhythm starts to play, dance with me, make me sway. Like the red ocean hugs the shore, hold me close, sway me more. When the rhythm starts to play, hold me close, let me Give it up one last time for Ricky Wilson, everyone. Stay.